Welcome to my channel. This is a 45 minute HIIT Pilates workout, max calorie burn. We'll be working at intervals 60 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Great workout to burn a lot of calories and fat in a short amount of time. So when you're ready, roll your mat out and let's begin. Let's warm up with a few cat to cows first. So we're just gonna round the spine, exhale, tucking the chin. Inhale with a gentle arch. We're just doing a quick warm up. Exhale, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Inhale, arching, just warming the back. Two of those. Exhale. And inhale, gentle arch. Just once more, warming the spine. Exhale. And inhale, arching it gently. Now we're going to come into a high plank position, extending one leg and then the other high plank position. Coming into a tiger pose, so the front knee comes in, you're gonna round the spine, look towards the knee, and then simply crouch back. The back knee comes in, round the spine, crouch back, bending knees. Exhale to bring it in, look towards the knee, and bring it back with the crouch. Exhale, bring it in. So we're warming up. Feeling the core switch on, feeling the thighs, feeling the shoulders working as well. You can always do this on your knees, so through class, modify as needed by just coming onto the knees. So coming back and then rounding forward. Let's do one more each side. Crouch back, round forward. Once more, crouch back and round forward. Beautiful. Now just walking feet to your hands. Just coming into a forward fold. Hands to your thighs. We're gonna round the spine coming up. Flat back down, still warming up. Almost done with the warm up, rounding and flat down. So really important to warm the spine before we get into our core work to help maximize the effectiveness and find our full range of motion. Two more, flat back down, rounding up. Once again, flat back down, rounding up. Now this one, we're gonna come all the way down, slide hands down, thighs, hands to the mat and then come all the way back down onto your knees. We're going to begin our intervals. So 60 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First exercise is tabletop hover. So you're gonna lift the knees off of the mat <clears throat> and you're just gonna step out right, step out left, step extend, step extend, go. Right, left, right, left, out, out and extend. Extend, good. Anytime you need to, come onto the knees and take a little break. Try to keep your shoulders right over the wrist. So move in our tabletop hover. You're feeling your abdominals engage. Shoulders right over wrist. And out, out, extend. You're doing great, 25 seconds. Try to keep the shoulder blades slightly together. Great for those abs. <clears throat> Out, out, 15 seconds, breathe. All right, we're gonna have a 10 second break. Well, I'll show you the next exercise. Keep it going. All right, have a little break. Next exercise is on forearms. You're gonna lift the knees off, legs are hip distance, and you're gonna do a cross over plank. Begin, cross over, reset. Cross over, reset. Modification, you're gonna come onto the knees and you're just gonna bring one leg out and the other leg out. So you can always keep moving, doing the exercise that feels good and maybe a bit challenging for your body. Cross over planks. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades slightly together. So Power Pilates HIIT training workout. Max calorie burn in a short amount of time. Max fat burn. Keep it up. 20 seconds. Already sweating, already feeling the core. We're really switched on. Keep moving and keep breathing. <clears throat> Come all the way down, we're going to mermaids. So you're going to just bring those legs wide, bend the knees, big toes touch, hands under your ribs, float up, flex your feet, we lift the legs up, up. 
We have 30 seconds of these, 30 seconds with the legs wide. Push your heels together, lengthen back of the neck, reaching crown away from you. These are great to strengthen your glute and your lower back. Almost there. Keep pushing those heels together. All right, now wide legs, flex the foot and flex the feet and then lift. Straight legs, straight as you can. Almost there. 15 seconds and then you're gonna roll onto your back. Keep those legs straight as you can and lift your ribs slightly higher if you can. Keep squeezing the glute. Almost there. Right away, you're on your back. You're going for eight leg drops each leg. So you're gonna come into a curl up position, legs in tabletop, and the front leg drops. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we switch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Keep it going. So you can always bring that top leg onto the floor if you need to. Switch eight, seven, like this. So that would be your easier option. Four, three, two, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And switch, trying to keep that leg straight as you can, hovering just over the mat. Four, three, and switch. Drop your belly to the spine, lift the ribs high. Four, three, two, switch. Eight drops, hovering just over the mat. Four, three, two, and switch. Eight, seven, six. All right, beautiful. Have a little break. Next one is eight cross crawls, these, and then eight scissor kicks. You can go straight leg or bent for those. Begin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now scissors, straight leg or bent, three, four, five, six, seven, and scissors, eight, seven, six, five, let's cross crawl, three, two, now scissors, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, cross crawl, eight, Keep the rib cage lifted, elbows nice and wide. Now scissors, straight legs are bent. Just make it big, stay strong, stay motivated. And cross crawl, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last one, scissors, eight, seven, all right, we're repeating from the top. Flip over to the tabletop hover, stepping out and back. This time you're gonna lead left leg. Tabletop hover, left leg lead. Out, out, in, step out, together. Out and in, extend and in. Good, the left leg leads. Keep shoulders over wrist. Abdominals engage. Doing great. Out, in, left leg leads the whole time. You should feel your core, your thighs, your shoulders. Feeling good. You're halfway. Try to keep the hips in line with shoulders. Don't let them lift up to the sky. It'll turn off your abs. You definitely don't want that. Keeping those abs on. 15 seconds. You're working hard, you're feeling good. You can take a break if you need it. Finish strong. All right, a low plank with that crossover. You know your modification now. Elbows under the shoulders. Legs are hip distance on the knees or off the knees. You get crossover, reset. All right, so these are tough now. Shoulders are burning. But we want a max calorie burn in this hip Pilates. So we're working our hardest, we're doing our best. Shoulder blades squeeze together slightly. Good, excellent. You feel that big calorie burn happening. 
I need you to stay focused, stay strong, and stay mindful. Feel the muscles that you're working, your abs, your shoulders, your thighs. 25 seconds, make it good. You can do this, get a good sweat, burn lots of calories already. Next one is the mermaids will come right down. I know your shoulders are screaming. They're gonna get a break in five. Whew. Totally fine to take breaks. All right, so mermaids now, you're gonna bring those legs wide, flex feet, heels pressed together, knees wider than hips. You get it up, up. So you're really squeezing the glute. Think about lifting your thighs high as you can off of the mat and pressing those heels together, reaching the crown away from you. 30 seconds here, then 30 seconds wide legs with flex feet. Amazing. Feeling the burn already. And I want you to really activate glute for these last 30 seconds and begin flex feet, legs lift up, up. So really activate glute. Think about it, be mindful in your workout maximize your time on your mat to maximize your effectiveness. So you're really squeezing the bun, lifting high as you can. 15 seconds. All right, then we're gonna flip on our back for those eight leg drops each side. Awesome, all right, on your back, eight leg drops each side. I'm gonna turn to this side. All right, so tabletop legs, curl up as high as you can. Lift off shoulder blades, we drop eight. So hovering just over the mat, four, three, two, and switch. Remember, the easier option is just to rest that foot, top foot down on the mat. Three, two, and switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and switch. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Lift up off those shoulder blades high as you can. Four, three, two, and switch. Drop your navel to the spine. And five, six, seven, eight, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, once more. All right, now we have the eight cross crawls, eight scissors. So for cross crawl, here's your modification with the knee bent. Let's begin. Cross crawl for eight. Elbows wide. Last four, three, two, and scissor kicks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Cross crawl, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and scissors, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, cross crawl, almost there, three, four, five, six, straight leg, or bent for the scissors, You're almost there, 20 seconds, go for the burn, three, two, and cross crawl. And scissors, eight. Whew, nice. All right, roll over your back into a low plank. So come onto the forearms, knuckles together, push your knees away. You can be on the knees or off the knees. You're gonna go for a single knee drop and then two doubles. So it's single, single, two double knee drops. So if you need an easier option, you're just gonna come onto the knees and do the opposite. Double, double. So single, single, and then two doubles. Single, single, two doubles. Feeling those abs. And a single, single, double. Almost there. 20 seconds. Abs should be burning. 
Max calorie burn, max fat burn. We love HIIT training. One, two, single, single, and double. Single, single, double. Almost there. All right, come on up. High plank with a double crouch and a double knee. So it's a high plank here. You're gonna come back twice and double knee pump. Begin. So one, two, pump twice. Then switch the knees, other knee, pump twice. One, two, pump twice. You can do it all on your knees for an easier option. Abs should be burning after that last exercise. Didn't get much of a break, so we're in that burn zone and we're loving it. One, two. All right, shoulders get a break after this. So I need you to do your best. Feel the core, feel the shoulders, feel the thighs. 25 seconds. How hard can you work in 25 seconds? Get those shoulder blades together. Mindful, make sure you're feeling those muscles that you wanna feel, right? Abs on, thighs on. Definitely a good shoulder burn. 10 seconds. All right, now we come down. It's a starfish with Superman. So the legs go wide, arms are wide. You're gonna lift up once, and we bring it together, lift once. Begin, one starfish, one Superman. One starfish, one Superman. One starfish, one Superman. Good, so this is back body core now. Trying to get your legs straight as you can. Arms stay straight. Lifting your ribs, but you're lengthening back of the neck. Reaching crown away, reaching toes away. All right, so we're switching on the lower back by activating the glute, keeping your legs straight as you can. Work hard, 20 seconds. Wide and then close. So legs go wide and bring them together. Arms go wide, bring them together. Almost there. Awesome, come up. We've got camels with a rotation. So knees under hips, tuck your pelvis, fingertips to temples. You're gonna come back, rotate to me, center, rise. Begin, come back, rotate, center, rise. And you're gonna go to the back, away from me, Center, right. So a whole 60 seconds of these. I want you to focus on control. So back as far as you're comfortable, then rotate and back up. So take time to find your full range of motion coming back far as you're comfortable. These are great for back body and front body core. Feel your glute, your thighs, your abs, and your back. The modification, just wrap hands to chest. Rotate, center, and up. <clears throat> Rotate, center, and up. Keep it going. Thighs should be on fire. All right, after this one, you're just gonna switch to sitting on your bum. We've got one more exercise in the series. On your bum, right away. All right, you're gonna go for a single knee rotation. It's just gonna go side to side. Come back, half roll down, begin. Now you can do that without the leg, right? You can just do a rotation. There's your modification. We're bringing that knee in, making it harder, because this is power Pilates. And we love to work hard. We love to get a max calorie burn, max fat burn happening now. Hollowing that tummy, elbows stay wide. Big out breath as you rotate. All right, last exercise in this series, and we're gonna start from the top. Doing that all again. All right, after this, you're gonna drop right back into that low plank, back to the single knee drops with two doubles. 10 seconds. Feel those abs. Come 
come into plank, low plank position, knuckles together, elbows under the shoulders, legs are hip distance. On the knees or off the knees. Begin, single, single, double. Good, single, single, and two doubles. Now, make it harder, don't touch the knees to the mat, just hover over the mat. Single, single, and double. Single, single, and double. <clears throat> single, single. Whew. Really feeling the abs, really feeling the thighs. Stay focused, single, single, double. You're doing great. Really feeling those abs burn, that's what you want. Don't let your hips go up to the sky. You'll turn off those abs. If you need them on vacation, just do it all from your knees. You can do it. Single, single, double. This is one of the hardest ones. Stay with the burn. That's what you want. You're getting a max calorie burn, and that feels great. Breathe. Whew. All right, high plank. We have the double crouch, double knee, so set up your high plank, come back twice, and pump twice. Begin. Crouch twice, pump twice. <clears throat> Change legs, back leg. <clears throat> One, two, and double knee. All on the knees is your modification. <sighs> really feel your core react when you pump the knee in quickly. Core reacts. That's what you want. Switch on those core muscles. One, two, back for two. One, two. <clears throat> Almost done. All right, 25 seconds. I want you to really feel the burn. Thighs and abs. Of course, your shoulders as well. One, two. <clears throat> there, five seconds. Whew. All right, come down. We have the starfish with Superman, but this time it's two starfish, two Superman. So pelvis to mat, squeeze your tummy. Here we go, up. Starfish for two, bring it in, Superman for two. Bring it out, starfish for two, bring it in, Superman for two. Out, lift, lift, in and lift, lift, out, lift, lift, in, you got it. Now you're really feeling those back muscles engage. Can you lift slightly higher, getting some postural muscles working, glute thighs and lower back. In, lift, lift, mindful, feeling the muscles that you're working. In, lift, lift. Keep reaching crown of the head away. That's important, take care of your neck. One, two, one, two, you're almost there. Awesome, the camel with rotation. Up onto the knees, knees under hips, and make sure you tuck your pelvis under. Fingertips to temple, squeeze your bum. Begin, rotate to me once, center and up. So come back far if you're comfortable, then rotate and up. So don't rush this one, get a full range of motion and up. Good. One more exercise in this series. You're doing great. Keep those knees right under hips. Should be feeling thigh burn, ab burn. Rotate, so you're getting spinal rotation you're getting oblique activation, those side abs, you're getting glute and thigh activation, all happening. Keep the belly towards the spine. Almost there. One more exercise, you're gonna be on your bum. <clears throat> 10 seconds. All right, on your bum, we have that rotate with the knees. So soften in the knees, fingertips to the temples, sit tall, exhale, hollow tummy. Let's go rotate towards the knee, other side. Remember you can just keep the feet down for modification. 
Great for lower abs and those side abs. All right, full rotation, keeping the chest open, keep hollowing out the tummy. So the more you can hollow out your tummy, the more you're gonna feel this in those abs. Feels like you've got a big heavy bowling ball sitting on your tummy, sitting belly towards your spine. 25 seconds. Remember, you can always take a break, sit it out for a few reps, and then come back in. That's how you get stronger. You can all do this. Got to push through a little bit of the fatigue to get stronger and reach a new level of fitness today. Feeling good. Rotate. Five seconds. Whew, have a little break. Now you're going to go with your legs in tabletop. You're going to bring one knee in and then one reach. So let's bring that other foot to the floor. So it's knee and reach. Knee in and reach. Knee in and reach. Good. Toe to the sky, knee in, and then we reach hand to the toe. Knee in and reach. Rotate. Halfway through, we're going to change sides. Do one more and change sides. Go. So it's a knee and reach. Knee, reach, and knee, and reach. Doing great. Get a full rotation and a full reach. Getting up as high as you can. Full out breath. And knee, and reach. Double stays back. Awesome. Jack knives. All right, so modification is just going to be bent knees. Harder option. Full jack knife extending both legs. Imprint spine. Begin. Full jack knife. All right, if you want this harder, you're not going to bend the knees in the middle. So you're going to keep the legs straight and right back up to the side. That is your true jackknife, but any modification is fine here. So you can bend the knees the whole time. You can bend the knees to bring it in. You can ditch the arms. You can bring the hands under the bum. Modify as needed. Try to really imprint that spine. Lower back pressing on or close to the mat. that lower back. Keep it on the mat. That's really important or very close to the mat is fine. If the back is unloading, you need to modify. Set up. Single leg hip bridge. The right leg extends. Thigh height. Palms to the mat. Lift your hips right up. Begin. Single leg hip bridge. Up. Up. So you're really pushing down through that bottom heel. You're lifting your hips as high as you can, and you're keeping that leg at thigh height, so it's about 45 degrees. 60 seconds on each side, that's a long time, but you're doing your best. You're putting in the hard work now, so you reap the endless rewards of increasing your fitness level. Lift your hips right up. Starting to feel a burn in your hamstring and glute, that's exactly where you want to be. Can you lift those hips a tiny bit higher? Almost there. Very effective for the glute and the hamstring. Break is coming. 10 second break. Awesome. Couldn't wait for that beep. All right, other side. Extend that leg. Thigh height. Let's set up, begin, up, up. So don't let that toe go up to the sky. You're keeping it at thigh height. That's 45 degrees. Your legs are about hip distance. Make sure your toes are pointed straight ahead. So unilateral hip bridge is so good to work out the kinks or imbalances in your body. Really effective for strengthening the hips, the lower back and the knees. So we're working hard here, 60 seconds. A long time on each side, but you're strong. 
and you can do this. Push down through that bottom heel, don't let your knee go out to the side. Keep it in line with your hip. Right, one more exercise in this series. Push those hips up as high as you can. Using that burn, your bum gets a break after this. Awesome, all right, last one. You're gonna come into tabletop, hands behind the head, lift up as high as you can, single leg switches, all right? So just quick switches. Let's go, one, two. So single leg switches, we're moving a little bit quickly here. If that's too much for you, slow it down. Try to lift up off those shoulder blades. Reaching crown away, but shrinking your bottom rib towards your hip. So as you shrink bottom rib to hip, that's gonna help you to lift off those shoulder blades. Keep breathing and relax your head in your hands. You wanna turn off the neck, we going to turn on the abs. So relax your head, let the abs and the thighs do all the work. It's about isolation, concentration, mindfulness, effectiveness in our workout. All right. We're gonna go back to that first exercise, which is gonna kill because the abs don't get much of a break. This is where I need you to push. This is where it counts. Keep that lower back pressed to the mat. Five seconds. Oh, all right, quick break. I'll show you the next one. It's knee and reach. Remember that one. Okay, 30 seconds each side. <clears throat> Here we go, knee to elbow, and then we reach. Knee to elbow, and reach. So one hand is behind the head the entire time, supporting the head. But we never want the neck to kick in, we want the abs to do all of the work. So isolating the abs, the head is just coming along for the ride. And reach. Couple more at the side, last one and we switch. So it's knee and reach. Knee and reach. How's those abs? Should be burning if that's what you want. What's happening now? A max calorie burn. Max core effective workout. Remember you strengthen your core, you strengthen the whole body. Hooey. Jack nice. All right, so remember modification is just knees in and tap or knees in, extend. Oops, sorry, head and shoulders down for this one. Knees in and tap. So there's your easier option or arms reach overhead and bring the knees in. So head and shoulders are down. If you want the hardest option, the legs are straight the whole time, true jack knives. Exhale, exhale. Good. If you do want to make it harder, you can come into curl up. So you're going to lift head and shoulders off the mat or not, right? If you start to feel your neck kicking in, you don't want that. You want your abs to burn, not your neck. So if you can, if you're advanced, lift head and shoulders off the mat for jackknives. But listen to your body. These already burn. Just true jackknives. So exhale as you lower down, 45. All right, we're back into that single leg hip bridge after this one. Big out breath. All right, hip bridge, bring heels to hips. This time, bring the toe to the sky. Bottom heel on or off the mat. Off the mat's gonna be harder. Let's set up, begin. Up, up. So if you're lifting that bottom heel off the mat, you'll already feel those glute muscles kick in. You've got a whole 60 seconds here. If you think about reaching your toe high as you can to the sky, lifting those hip bones, activating glute and hamstrings. Relax your neck and feel good. We love hip training Pilates. So effective, maximizing our time on the mat. Short, effective workout. Almost there. those hips as high as you can and really push down through the ball of the feet to get your hips up. Almost 
there. Love the bird, embrace it. Awesome, come down, have a quick break, reset your body. Bottom heel on or off the mat, back leg, toe to sky. Let's set up that hip bridge, lift those hips. Begin up. up. So try to keep that top leg as straight as you can. Bottom heels up or down. But I want you to think about squeezing your glute, lifting your hips as high as you can. That's it. Balancing out the body, working out the kinks, strengthening back body. We have one more exercise in the sequence. We're doing great. Lift those hips as high as you can. Tough workout, but you're tough. You got this. A little bit higher with those hips. Squeeze the glute. Don't let the knee drop out to the side. Really effective. And down. Good job. Single leg switches. Now legs in tabletop. Now we come into that curl up position. Single leg switches. Quick switches. Begin. One, two, one, two. All right, so we're moving quickly, but with control. Remember to drop your belly towards your spine. Keep your lower back to the mat. That is your imprint. And your elbows are nice and wide. Lift ribs up, shoulder blades up. Lengthen through crown. You're gonna just stay here for the next sequence. You've got one more sequence here on your back. Almost there. Can you lift a little bit higher off of those shoulder blades? Burn out those abs. 10 seconds, you can do it. Lift a little higher, go for that burn and go past it. All right, have a little break. I'll show you the next one. It's a crisscross scissor. So you're gonna rotate elbow towards the knee and the other side. You can bend the knees to make these easier. Rotate crisscross scissor. All right, how's your abs now? Yes, I know they're burning, but this is where I need you to really push. You're gonna feel amazing all day with the hard work you put in now. You can do it. Relax your head, isolate the abs and the thighs here. This is upper abs, lower abs, obliques and thighs. That's why it's so hard. We've got so many muscles working. If you're dying, sit it out for a couple and then come back in. Abs are burning, you have 20 seconds and then you're gonna come right onto your side. your side side high plank you can come on to the bottom forearm to modify you can come on to the bottom knee to modify with 30 seconds here and 30 seconds on the back you're just lifting the hips and lower up and up so you're squeezing your thighs slightly together the shoulder and the wrist are in alignment big time side body core work 10 seconds, and you're gonna change sides. Almost there. All right, rotate away from me, hand under shoulder, let's go. Up, up. On the knee is fine, on the bottom forearm is fine. Do what you can, just keep moving. Really good for those side abs. Lift your hips a little bit higher if you can. Reaching that top hand to the sky. Awesome. On to your back. All right, so you're going to bring your toes up to the sky. You're going to crunch up twice, then hold it up. The legs drop once. Begin. 
crunch. One, two, legs drop. Down and up. Crunch. One, two, legs drop. Lift. You can bend the knees for your modification. Now make sure that the spine stays in imprint, especially for that drop. If your back is unloading, that means you need to bend your knees. Down and up. Lifting high as you can off shoulder blades, and then lower, and then lift. Good. One, two, and drop. Lift, you're doing great, getting close to the end. Stay focused, stay mindful, feeling the muscles that we're working. Lifting up high as you can off shoulder blades. Five seconds. And crunch. All right, just a wide leg hip bridge. You're gonna bring your legs, heels wide as mat, about a two-third bend in legs, flex feet, lift hips up, hands to sky, begin. 60 seconds, wide leg hip bridge. If you need help, your hands are to the mat. This one is great for your booty. So you're lifting those hips right up to the sky. Squeeze your glute at the top of the range of motion. Relax your head and neck, and keep your eye gaze to the ceiling. Grind down through the heels, and that's gonna help you activate your glute a bit more. All right, lift those hips a little higher if you can. You wanna get a burn. All right, last bit, you're just gonna pulse at the top of the pulses, up, up. Up, little pulses to the end. So staying in contraction zone. Push down through the heels. Lift those hips a little higher if you can. All right, come down. We're back to the top of that sequence. Toes to the sky, hands behind the head. This is the crisscross scissor. Lift up, off shoulder blades, begin. Rotate and rotate. This is one of the hardest ones for those abs. So I need you to focus. Elbows wide. Big out breath as you rotate. That's going to help you to activate your deepest layer of core, the transverse abdominals. So you use your breath. Big out breath. Elbows wide as you can get them. Remember, you can bend your knees for modification. If your abs are on fire, that's exactly where you want to be. So the hips stay down, the rotation is in the torso. You have 20 seconds, do your best. Almost there, keeping the elbows nice and wide. Can't wait for the beep. And there it is, awesome. Side high planks. Remember, you know your modification on the bottom knee is totally fine. Wrist under shoulder, squeeze your thighs slightly together. Begin. Up, up. Really good one to trim up the waistline. I need you to lift those hips, squeeze those inner thighs, and reach that top hand to the sky. Halfway through, we're gonna change sides. Anytime you need to, you can lower to that bottom knee. Eight seconds and we switch. All right, go for the rotation now. Hand under shoulder, choose your modification, and we go. Really work in those side abs. Lift your hips a little bit higher than you want to. Slight squeeze of the inner thighs. It's gonna help to activate your thighs. So good. Keep reaching top hand high as you can to the sky. Feels good to strengthen. All right. Here we go. Now we have two crunches at the top and then one leg drop. So here we go. Two crunches up for two. One leg drop. And two crunches up. And one leg drop. Good job. Two crunches up and single drop so you're going to curl up as high as you can and one leg drop 
go ahead and curl up for two and down curl up for two and down feel free to bend knees as needed lift high as you can off those shoulder blades and a big curl up and then we drop and big curl up and big exhale remember those transverse abdominals you want to get them with that big out breath relax the head and hands one two and drop all right wide leg hip bridge legs are about a two-third bend flex the feet push heels to the mat set up lift high as you can up off shoulder blades for the stretch in your neck hands to sky begin up up so you're reaching your hands up right up to the sky grinding down through the heels and squeezing your butt cheeks at the top. Very effective one for back body core. So the legs are wider than hips, feet are flexed, and the legs are at about a two-third bend. So that two-third bend is gonna help you to get your lower glute. So right where your hamstring meets your glute, that's the muscle we're getting. I want you to squeeze as if you're holding a pencil right under your butt cheek, right at the top. Leave that pencil and don't drop it. Pulses till the end, go up, up, up. Stretch in the back of the neck. Good. All right, workout is almost done. Next exercise, you're gonna come onto your side. Lift the hips as high as you can. Onto your side, bottom knee is underneath at a wee bit of an angle and reach all right, flex foot, and you're gonna lift that top leg pulsing. All right, last exercise. Beautiful, last exercise. Reaching hand right up, flexing foot, just a little bit of side body work, and then we're done. Excellent work. So how hard can you flex that foot? Squeezing glute, opening the chest. A little bit higher if you can. Last exercise on this side, then we switch, and then the workout's done. Got all aspects, front core, back core, side body core. Really worked hard, push to the end. So the bottom knee is a wee bit of an angle, so everything is in alignment. That means there's a straight line from your heel through your hip all the way to your shoulder. Almost there, lifting slightly higher if you can. Oh, switch sides, one minute, and then we're done. Hand under shoulder, push the knee away, and we lift. Now begin, up. All right, flex that foot, opening the chest. Bottom hand directly under that shoulder. Last exercise. How good are you feeling? Opening the chest. Flex that foot, a firm flex. Lift a little bit higher if you can. Almost there. 30 seconds, make them good. Go for that burn. You're doing great. <clears throat> Feeling energized and ready for this day. Lift a little bit higher, go for the booty burn. Job. Let's do a quick stretch. Front leg forward, coming into a hip flexor stretch. Push the back leg away. Get off the kneecap. Forearm to thigh. Lifting chest and arm right up, and then drop your hip down. So release that hip flexor. Really important. You guys worked super hard today. Feel proud. Feel energized. And feel that max calorie burn you created. Hands frame that front foot. Coming back. Hamstring stretch, flexing foot, push your lower back down, and then dipping chest down towards your thigh. Awesome, let's switch sides. Other leg comes forward, knee and ankle align. Push extended leg away, forearm to thigh, lifting chest and that front arm. Go ahead and dip your hip right down, gentle backwards C-shape. 
full in breath, a full out breath. Once again, a full breath in and a full breath out. Hands bring that front foot. Let's come back, half split posture. Go ahead and extend that front leg. Push your lower back down and forward. If you have time to do some more stretching now, just go for it. Now is the best time when the muscles are nice and warm. All right, come to the center. Hands to the center. Bring your hands to your thighs. Roll the spine and slowly come on up. That is a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me. You worked really hard. Be proud. If you haven't, please click that subscribe button below and the little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a video. I upload about two videos per week, all new material. And if you like, comment down below under the description and let me know if there's any other classes you'd like, how you did in this class. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day.